On June 22, 2016, Davos was held in the northern Chinese city of Tianjin. During the event, artist Deng Guoyuan exhibited his installation art Nose Garden as an independent work for the first time. Nose Garden is an enclosed hexagon space of 53 square meters, made up of one-way glass, mirrors, alloy parts, rotating motor, and a cold light ceiling illumination. Such a work attracted visitors from different countries to observe closely. A couple different people at the same time. I think that's really impressive to me. Uh, disorient disorientation. Deng Guoyuan was born as one of the earliest artists who started the exploitation on abstract art in China. He studied in Netherlands and Germany successfully. North Garden is a part of the series in the garden, which took Deng Guoyuan a decade to finish. For the past 10 years, garden has been a great spiritual proposition in Deng Guoyuan's art world. Garden to Chinese is all about inspiration from the natural world. Chinese gardens are, in fact, as we said, they are from nature and higher than nature. So gardens hold many of our dreams of nature. So far, three series have been included in the garden. First, he used Chinese ink paintings and Western oil paintings to display things that are traditional Chinese to the audience. In the second phase, Deng Guoyuan made some setups taking ironic cues. He put ink-coated Christian elements often used by Chinese painting masters upside down in glass containers. This advanced art thought was under the influence of Deng Guoyuan's stunning experience in Europe in the 1990s. We used to be prospered by just one or two great paintings, while artists abroad often push an exhibition every two months. They work very hard every day. In the past, we cared about one picture, one perfect picture. But it's hard to create a style that way. To Deng Guoyuan, to present his work in front of people so everyone can be in a quiet space using a couple of seconds to reflect on the relationship between themselves and the nature. This should be the potential and unknown power of art. The social responsibility of an artist, I think, is to be a social change maker, bringing some new ideas. Other than being an artist, Deng Guoyuan is known more widely as the Dean of Tianjin Academy of Fine Arts. The most experimental dean is Deng Guoyuan's favorite appellation. In 2002, he set up the first school of modern arts among nine academies in China, opened the door for Chinese art education. The bold attempt has also brought fresh blood to contemporary art education in China. We put together art majors in Europe and the United States at a time, including mobile media art, new media design, photography, comprehensive painting, and public art, to establish a college as a platform in contemporary art education. In addition, in 2015, Tianjin Academy of Fine Arts began the expansion program designed to create a campus in gardens in order to integrate relationship between the school and its surroundings, and to strengthen its influence as the innovation and culture center of the city and region. Art education is never just about teaching the techniques. It must develop minds and explore each of the students' individual interpretation. In fact, art education should help students to understand the current space and time. Art design and creation have always been involved with time and space.
Whether as an artist creating dream gardens or as a dean creating dream line for students, Deng Guoyuan has always been an innovator. To him, artistic creation is an experiment of self-challenge, while innovative research on contemporary art education is a responsibility he must carry out. TGTV World.